ask Alfie Meyer to play you a tune, and a smile fills his face. Two weeks ago, Meyer returned from work at his family music store to find his home had been broken into. Uh oh, I hope they're not still in here. My next thought is the basement and my music room. Sure enough, three prized pieces were missing. They're gone and uh, I'm crying a little bit. Among the stolen instruments, a beloved violin. I have a choice of lots of violins uh, being in the business at that time. But uh, this one had a feel that I just liked. A $4,000 bow was taken too, and a collectible banjo. It goes back to 19, I, I believe Ludwig quit making banjos in 1930. A guitar also gone, in total the items worth more than $20,000. Sentimental value, that's a difficult one to price. But this week, by a stroke of dumb luck. It just tells me that you don't have to be clever to be a thief. The pieces made their way home. This fellow strolls in the store with three instruments and lays them on the counter and says, I want to sell these instruments. Employees immediately recognized them and confronted the man. He grabbed the guitar and the violin, and away he goes. He's uh, coming here towards the door, and Bob goes after him. He grabs him by the shirt, and in the turmoil going out the door, he dropped the violin case. The banjo was also left behind. The guitar, created by a friend who has since died, is still gone. I cherished it because Frank Gay, the fellow who made the guitar, was a very good friend of mine, and I miss him every day. Meyer is confident it, along with jewelry and electronics also stolen from the home, will be found. We're really thankful that uh, people have helped out so much. In the meantime, he'll keep smiling and playing. Brianna Karsten-Smith, CTV News, Edmonton.